what you will need to complete your state board shave. Hair cutting cape, barber towels, razor and changeable blade razors, styptic powder, cotton balls, gloves, paper towels, processing cap to cover head rest is optional. Your model must have a full beard that can be seen and felt. A model with a beard the length of a 5 o'clock shadow would be ideal. You will not be allowed to use any clippers on the face once your exam begins. Only your razor and shears. You may omit shaving areas 3 and 6 if your model has a full mustache. It is imperative you execute shaving movements number 14. Make sure you are clear with your model before the exam that they must receive a full close shave. There are four shaving positions. 1. Free hand. 2. Reverse free hand. 3. Back hand. And 4. Reverse back hand. For the North Carolina board exam you will only use the free hand, reverse free hand, and the back hand. The reverse back hand will be used during the next shave. First you will prepare your steam towel. Please watch the video on how to prepare the steam towel before shaving. Remove the majority of the water and apply the towel to your model's face. Always test the temperature of the steam towel on the inside of your wrist before applying it to the face. Placing the towel first at the lower neck, placing the folded edge of the towel under your model's nose, overlapping the ends of the towel over the forehead leaving the nose exposed for air. While the face is steaming you can prepare your razor for the shave. First rinse your razor and disinfect in your wet sanitizer. Rinse your razor again. Blot dry and store in your dry sanitizer. Remove the steam towel by rolling the ends of the towel down while removing any residue from the face. Place the towel in one hand and remove without reaching over your model's face. You will use one hand to apply the lather while keeping the other hand dry to move and rotate your model's head. Starting at the lower neck on the side furthest from you. Apply the lather in upward rotary movements while rotating the head in order to lather the center area and the side of the face closest to you until the face is completely covered. The purpose of the lather is to cleanse the face, create a smooth surface for the razor to glide, and stand the hair in an upright position. While lathering the face, you should be feeling the hair to make sure the cuticle layer of the hair has softened enough to begin your shave. Prepare your second steam towel, and repeat the process until the hair has softened enough to start shaving. You may re-steam the face as many times as needed to get the beard soft. Getting the beard soft will make this a more comfortable service for your model as well as help with your shaving movements. Beginning with shaving movement number 1, we will shave from the right sideburn down to the corner of the mouth. This movement is done using a free hand stroke standing at the 9 o'clock position. Movement 2, shaving from the corner of the mouth to the tip of the chin using a back hand stroke while still standing at the 9 o'clock position. Remember to keep the skin taut.
always lead with the point of the razor. Perform movement 3 while maintaining the same body position. Holding the razor in the freehand position shave beneath the nostril and over the right side of the upper lip. For movement 4 rotate the head away from you while positioning your body to face the right front side of the client's face. With the freehand position, start at chin level stretch the skin, and shave that portion of the neck below the jawbone down to the change in the grain of the beard. Be sure to hold the skin taut. Shaving area number 5. Move behind the chair, hold the razor for the reverse free hand stroke. Stretch the skin from the lower neck and shave upward to the change in the grain of the beard. Use your lather pad to wipe the razor clean in between shaving movements. Before performing movement 6, use this point to re-steam and re-lather if needed to maintain the softness of the beard. Movement number 6 stand to the right side of the client. Turn the client's face to access the left upper lip while holding the razor in the back hand position. Gently pushing the tip of the nose to the right with the thumb and fingers while shaving the left side of the upper lip. Number 7. Move toward the client's right shoulder and gently turn his face to the right. Stretch the skin taut and shave downward and slightly toward the corner of the mouth and jawbone. Backhand. Number 8. Stand at the client's right and position his head to access this shaving area. Using the freehand position. Stretch the skin and shave downward on the left side from the angle of the mouth to the point of the chin. Shift the body position to access shaving area number 9. Hold the razor for the backhand stroke. With the fingers of the left hand stretching the skin, shave downward from the point of the chin to where the grain of the beard changes on the neck. Number 10. Stand behind the client. Hold the razor in the reverse freehand position. Stretch the skin from the lower neck with the left hand and shave upward to where the grain changes. Stand at the client's right side. Reposition his face to access shaving area number 11. Hold the razor in a freehand position and stretch the skin. Shave across the chin. Continue shaving until the entire chin area has been shaved to a point just below the jawbone. Number 12. Tilt the client's head back to open up the neck area. Using the free hand or backhand stroke. 
stretch the skin with the left hand and position the razor to arc downward just below the chin. Continue this stroke until the grain of the beard changes. Shaving Area 13. Stand behind the chair, hold the razor for the reverse freehand stroke. Stretch the skin from the lower neck and shave upward on the lower part of the neck. Stretch the skin away from the Adam's apple and shave light diagonal to prevent nicks. Number 14. Remain behind the chair. Cup the client's chin and stretch the skin. Using the reverse freehand stroke. Use a few short scooping strokes to shave upward from the top of the chin toward the lower lip. You may also ask the client to ball his chin for this step. Wipe the razor clean and discard the lather pad. This completes the first time over shave procedure. The second shave. For the second shave, dampen the client's face with water, checking for rough or uneven spots as you moisten the skin. Stretch the skin and use freehand strokes with a light touch to shave with or across the grain to remove any residual facial hair. Apply a light facial cream or moisturizing lotion with an effleurage massage movement. Massage the cream into the skin using patricage massage movements. Apply a moderately warm towel over the client's face. Remove and dispose of the lather pad used for the second shave. Remove the chest towel. Remove the towel and wipe off excess product in one operation. This completes a state board close shave demonstrating the 14 shaving movements.